right guys, what's the crack? This is Gar, and this is Gar's Anatomy. Now, we are back, as you can see, in the heart. It's kind of late at night, so I apologise if my voice is a bit quiet. I will try and stay as close to the microphone as possible. I'm trying not to wake people up and be obnoxious. Basically, the long and the short of it is, guys, I am really busy these days. I am doing a lot of medicine. Let's turn that volume down just a little bit. Um, because I've got really big exams coming up, like huge, like my finals, like the last exams I'll ever do in medical school. And... I have to prepare for them, it's kind of as simple as that, and it, it's going to mean that in general, some of these videos are going to take a little bit of a backseat, hopefully not too much, I've kind of planned it out, so I'm going to do more series where I have to do less playing per video time, it means KSL is going to take a bit of a backseat, but maybe I can just sort of maintain it with videos like this, where we don't do too much planning and stuff, and we just do a lot of building. Okay, so we've got this kind of set up in the go. I've actually done a little bit of building you can see here that I'm I've got a few, I've got a few plans for today actually I've done a little bit of building put a little bit of a floor here with some cyan stained bricks from extra utils really nice I've got this little setup and I'm planning on filling this with resident energy cells eventually uh, might be a bit much like maybe I won't f fill it actually that's, that's useful to just steal uh, maybe I won't fill it maybe I'll like have um, for example the cells in the middle so if I got any cobble I do yeah I don't know it depends how fast um, the, the it can all transmit it might not be fast enough for example but uh, yeah, it might be you know oh. the reason I was thinking that is because of like, how do they, how much do these transmit they can transmit 10,000 RF a tick and how much can this output or how much can this Oh, it's the same, so it actually doesn't matter. Yeah, I can just use, like, conduits to fill these up. I'll probably just put, like, three or four down here to have a good stable setup. And then have some, uh... Because I actually thought these might be able to, like, output and input more, and therefore they'd kind of act like really expensive cables. Because I, there's no, like, resonant form of the energy conduit, so I, I thought that would match up with whatever the output of this is. What's the output of this? Does it show you? 2,000. Oh well, that's cool. That's good to know. Um, yeah, we're going to set this up. So th the reason I brought you on and st stopped building and kind of wanted to record is because I actually wanted to show you the setup and give it a test run on camera. So really kind of simple. Um, I'm planning on just having two, but I might expand and have four. But two should be enough for now. I'm trying to work out if I've got enough of all the various other things. So basically, this is resonant, right? So that's going to match up with the one over in the tree farm we've got a translocator that's going to keep this steam oven filled with the stuff it's just going to cook that down hopefully if we can give it enough steam that's going to move the coal into here that's going to produce steam the steam's going to go back in here and keep that cooking so hopefully we're going to be able to run off the own steam that's the theory so yeah what we're gonna do now is we're gonna build ourselves the second of these things so we remind what we need we need nine of those I'm pretty sure I've built those and then I need uh, what are these called high pressure boiler tanks I'm going to need uh, we can work it out I think it's like three by f three by four but we can work it out when we go and craft it yeah oh I knew I meant it oh I did bring it awesome that's what I was charging that up for uh, not with any like energy just with like um, Let's put that down to about 250, I think. Just with um, what we actually had in one of those resonant energy cells. I wanted to show you that uh, we have cleared up the uh, little thing over there. I didn't have enough dirt, so I'm going to have to finish that later. I didn't have dirt on me, I guess. Um, oh, did I have a cell down there? I do. Oh, is it full too? How's it getting along? Is this finished up? It has. Uh, that's we just put that down to get a whole pile of steam. Um, so we're we're doing okay for power. We almost ran out a couple of times, and I had to like get my my dynamos out and stuff. But we're doing okay. We're doing okay. Um, so what we're we doing now? We are. I just wanted to show you that I've made um, quite a bu bunch of flocks blocks of flesh, but not nearly enough because they really are quite expensive. Um, I also wanted to show you that unfortunately. Unless it's been changed in the last 10 minutes or so. Uh, we haven't got micro blocks for that yet. And that's pretty imperative because A, I don't have enough flesh. And I don't think there's a way of, there's not really any good way of converting flesh, like making flesh. Um, you can see here that we could like, we could grow bees, for example. This is reasonably good because I've got that biome which has chunks of flesh. But for that we need poison extract, which we can make that pretty easily. But we can't make the um, 
poison ivy and I couldn't find any poison ivy in any of the biomes and it's certainly not renewable so that's a shame because if that was renewable we'd be we'd be absolutely gravy I don't also don't think there is any um of the what's it called crop let me, well let me show you you know the way you can get like magical crops I would have considered a magical crops option but I don't think there's any version of that either um this is the mine camp stuff where you can basically essentially put various things into f foods. So you can put make that so it gets you an alcohol effect. This is penicillin, etc., etc. So that's irrelevant. You can lacerate these and whatnot, but <laughs> they're just as hard to get as those. So that's not renewable. This, I guess we could, but look at that 15% chance. It's not exactly fantastic. And I guess we could make ourselves some nodularin. Um for which I don't actually see a recipe, so maybe we can't. Oh, here we go. Nodularin. Oh, I guess we could make it, you know. We could maybe use Minecam. Maybe that's something we can th consider. Because I actually haven't tr played with Minecam a lot. I've been told you need a lot of power, but I've also been told that that's actually not too hard. So, carbon, hydrogen, nitrogen, and oxygen. Well, we can look into that later in the video. I wanted to do a couple of things now. I wanted to... Is it? Yes. Yes, let's get this out, and let's get, um, oh, what can we get? We've got that, we've got the other stuff over there, that's cool. Right, let's make the other things, the high-pressure boiler things. Okay, so, uh, we need 3 by 4 by 3, 3 by 3 is 9, 9 times 4 is 30, so we need 36 of these. All right, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 8, 8, 8. Uh, we've made a bunch of these steel plates, so we should have no problem. Uh, here's the moment of truth, I guess. Three, five, six. Awesome. How much of those do we have? We should have a whole bunch. We made an absolute ton. Oh, I've still got way more. Oh, that's awesome. I converted a lot of my steel, so you can see I'm not all that down in steel at the moment. But, man, eh, we're not too bad. We're not too bad. I wonder if I can do this within here. Yeah, I've noticed that. You can't do this within the... Um, how oh, weird. Anyway, you can do it manually, but you can't do it in there. Uh, have I got a portal gun? I think I have. Awesome. Okay, so we want to put this carbon down, and that should become more apparent later. Basically, it's to do with this. I'm not really happy with how this little thing looks, and I kind of want to make it look a bit prettier. Um, until I get a better way of transportation uh, portals slash flying in and out of the... What vessel would that be, then? Well, we haven't actually got any of the atria. Uh, that will be... Um, is it blue? That's the superior vena cava. Yeah. So I want to, you know, come in and out of the SVC. But uh, we're going to use that to make the entrance and exit from this perspective look a bit nicer. Or we're going to try anyway. Okay, so we are ready, I think, to start placing... Oh, God. I forgot to get the other stuff I needed. Okay, so let's work this out. We need the uh, uh, boiler stuff. Is that what it's called? Yes. Awesome. Let's put some of this stuff away. Actually, I needed that. That's the only thing I didn't want to put away. Uh, silly, silly me. Come on. Brick. There we go. Colored bricks, that's what they're called. Okay. Please, thank you. Uh, I can put some of these torches away, and I'll keep the other stuff just for our information. Okay. Ooh, we've got a lot of ender pearls. That's good. Okay, we keep that. We can keep that. Let's actually get a little bit more. And we wanted that, that, and we wanted to make some copper dynamos, didn't we? Well, steam dynamos, I think, is what they're called, isn't it? Let's have a look. Okay, so we're going to need to make some of these on the offset, and I think it's 12 I need. So let's make 12. I'm basically trying to get my power more or less set up on camera with you guys. Um, does it have to be that one? Oh, it can be the cheaper one. That's good. Okay, so we need to make the... Uh, gears okay so we need tw we need 12 so we need 24 come on now don't be silly um, wood okay let's get that and make some sticks uh, let's get a whole bunch of stacks of it why not and we can then get the gears I cannot wait until I've got an auto crafting set up I cannot wait Okay, uh, let's make a stack, why the hell not, or whatever that'll do. And stone. Um, whatever, can we get another stack, please? Thank you. And then, uh, gear, stone gear. What? 
Oh, there, there they are. Stone gear and copper. Do we have copper? We do. Let's use some of this random copper. Uh, there we go. What copper is that? Metallurgy. I wonder where I got that from. Uh, okay. Click, click, clicky, click, 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 click. Uh, we need 12, so we need 24 total. Oh, I'm probably going to run out. Oh, no, it's ore dictionaries. That's so cool. Awesome. And then we should be able to just get the steam dynamos that we need pretty easily, I think. Awesome. And I'm going to base the fact that we should have just enough copper gears to be able to do that. Awesome. So steam dynamos, that thing there. We also want to get our firestone. Awesome. And we've got everything else, I think. Think, pneumatic servo. Well, we've got the we got the portal. We can come back and, if we want to pretty quickly. Always useful to lay out your um. Uh, let's go to fast. Always useful to lay out your um. Designs with cobble or something first. It gets done really quickly. Oh, although that's a bit of a pain being on fast. Not too bad though. Not too bad. But these stone. I really like the look of these extra utilities bricks. I think they're pretty good. Let's go back to normal. <laughs> Because it's still pretty damn fast, I'm not going to lie. It is nice having a really fast tool like this, so you can charge and stuff. It's a shame you can't do the... Well, I guess it's not really an exploit, but it's a shame you can't do the thing where... Um, with the... Am I doing this right? I think it was there, wasn't it? Yeah, put down cobble and then mine it up before you remember what it was. I think it was this way. Um, what was I talking about? You can't put the enchantments on uh, the... The... Uh, the mechanism tools but that's actually a good thing because otherwise it's way overpowered now this i'm done this setup with the sort of central sort of you know thing where that's where we get the power for expansion purposes should we not have enough power here doing it this way ah good it formed we can always expand upwards we can expand downwards a little bit because as you saw there is a little bit of space here enough for like well maybe not enough for another one but enough Possibly for another one. We've got our buckets here, so that's good. Let's have a little bit of munch of chicken. It's funny how the later at night it gets, the more hyper I tend to be. Okay, let us put. Oh, it's filling up with water already because of the way we set up the fluid ducts. That is cool. Oh, can I not squeeze through there? That's a bit of a that's a bit of a bummer. Uh, it doesn't shouldn't I shouldn't the where I placed it shouldn't really matter because I've placed down the um, energy conduits first. They should automatically line up to them, which is a really nice feature. Uh, otherwise, it's a pain in the backside to have to, like, do them. We've already got the water there, so we don't actually need the water buckets. What was I thinking? Okay, so this should be ready to pull out this stuff whenever it cooks it. So all we need to do, I think, is give it a bit of a jump start. And hopefully this will give it that jump start that we need. God, look at how many charges it's going. It's just burning through those charges. But it's also getting the temperature of this thing hot pretty quickly. Now, obviously, you know, steam boils at 100 degrees Celsius. Those from America might not know that since you use Fahrenheit. I don't know what the boiling temperature is at Fahrenheit. But that's still pretty cool. Because it wasn't too bad to, like, fill that up with charges. But we should start getting steam now. And that means we should start getting steam into here. Why are we not getting steam in here? I was pretty certain that you could just, like... Maybe it won't go in until it's full. Hmm. Are we getting steam in here? No. What about if we do that? Yeah, is that a fluid duct? It definitely is, isn't it? Let's just give it a charge to see, but I don't didn't think it need oh it does have steam in it now. Okay, good. And now that's filled with steam. So these should okay, does that mean I'm gonna need fluid ducts? I was ninety nine percent sure that I didn't need fluid ducts here. Hmm, that's going to change the significantly. Now, did that try and pump in? Because that should have made steam. It should have made a whole bunch of stuff and it should have got sucked out. Okay, where is it going? Is it going in here? Where's it going? Because I've got the. F oh, it's going in there. I'm hard to miss that. Okay, so we need to make a round robin in that as well, so that's good. Um, but what we can do in the meantime is just turn it off. Okay. Well, it'll still burn through the steam. Uh, oh, well.
well, whatever. It doesn't really matter. Let's put it in round robin mode so that um, hopefully we just, you know, sort of sort it all out. And I guess I'll, what I'll do is maybe since this has got redstone control, can I change the stack size? Well, I, what I'll do is I will get some of this stuff and say, hey, you can only pull out. Um, well, hold on. Maybe if I pull out stack size one, it'll still do it. Let's have a look. Come on. Steam it up. Now what are you going to pull out? Yeah, it's pulling out like tiny stacks. And it should run Robin it to put it in here. It is, and it's actually keeping that up, so that's pretty cool. Uh, but yet again, let us not have it go in there just for the moment. And same here, just for the moment, because we are going to need to massively change the design of this, which is a bit of a bummer. Because I'm trying to think, am I going to run out of space or will I have to move everything? Might be okay, you know. Might be okay. I'm worried that enough steam is going to come out of these um, fluid ducts. And moreover, that I have... Well, I'm not going to have enough fluid ducts. But I'm going to have to give all of these pneumatic servos, which is a bit of a pain in the backside. Um, or am I? No, they all seem to have steam in them. Why do you have steam in them? But I had to give this one a pneumatic servo. Maybe I didn't. Whatever. Okay, so let us put that there and then use that to put the conduits down. It's now giving us power, so that's a good sign. Let's just get rid of these temporarily. And let's also put that there. Okay, yeah. See. That the way that works, it's going to be a little bit close for comfort, personally, I think. Um, but it might work. It might work. If I have to fix it, I'll fix it off camera. But I like doing these things on camera, so it's fun for you guys to watch, I think. I hope it is, anyway. Yeah, that's okay, isn't it? Shouldn't matter too much that those join up. I don't think. Uh, I don't think it will. Oop, there we go. Get these down. And I think that should be all fine. Let us just rotate that. Good, good, good. Uh, put these in there. Now, technically, these little redstone engineering conduits technically act as kind of like mini batteries, which is pretty cool. But that's all working now, which is so awesome. Now, let us put down these resonant energy cells. And I'm thinking I'm just going to put that one down there. Oh, no. It's still the way I wanted. I want the empty one on top that there and then that there and let's watch that sort of fill up and go down at the same time so it's going to stay static but this one's going to fill up oh my goodness that's only look at that's filling up so fast and there's only one steam engine on the go this is going to be cool i need to get this fire thing out and hopefully that can maintain it let's put the fire thing in there and let's set this up and we need to make sure as well that we set our tree farm up and running again because it's been off for a while. Uh, I need more fluid ducts. I didn't think I'd run out of fluid ducts because I didn't think I'd need any more. Uh, but hopefully any I should come to the rescue. Oh, I have some already. Awesome. I didn't even notice. That is good. Okay, so. Again, just a matter of placing it down now. Down. <laughs> And this isn't producing steam yet because we haven't got up to 100 degrees Celsius. But we should... Oh, we are, but it's still not doing it. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Maybe I just moved it too soon. Maybe... Maybe I didn't need to do that. Maybe it's like it just didn't pump it out because I didn't have enough steam in there. That's very possible. And it's making me wonder if enough steam can go through that well it's they're keeping it filled so what's the current it's currently going at 80 rf a tick it's keeping it filled and we're you know steam is keeping going up and down to that and it seems to be like maintaining it with the golden power source too which is a really good sign um steam is now going in there can i take out that pneumatic servo just to see if it still needs it I don't think it does. This should. St Let's see. If this fills up with steam, then we'll know. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Still steaming that. Awesome. 
let us now ooh, ooh, daisies. Uh, connect these again and then hopefully we should see golden pyre source pulling in here now the thing that we need to make sure is a are we providing it with enough golden pyre source so let's look here that's going pretty quickly but we'll need to just keep an eye on it to make sure it's stable because this might not be fast enough um the steam oven it's kind of slow but it does cook nine at a time but we will find out relatively soon certainly filling up on that side and that's definitely more than it was are these on yet they are not. I'm probably doing some, something wrong, but I don't know. Uh, that seems like it's less steam than it was. Hmm. I've got a feeling it was more than that, wasn't it? Me now, once it's like at its high temperature, it's like the most efficient. So what I might do is just get it super efficient first. Put it up to like a thousand degrees Celsius. And then see where we go from there. Because knowing if it's going to be efficient or not only depend is, is very dependent on the on whether or not it is um, running at full efficiency. Now, this is sort of working, but it's not getting enough steam yet. These weren't necessary. These absolutely were not necessary. Um, and I may move them back again. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, I think I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna. Right, let me stop recording and do that. Yeah, look at these. They're all filling up now. So that's. Uh, I was totally dumb. I should have just trusted my instincts. And I knew that was gonna work. I knew it was gonna work. Uh, now that's certainly keeping up. So we know that if we had an infinite supply of uh, Firestone, we'd be fine. But we obviously do not. So that's irrelevant. It seems like we're keeping up, though. I mean, this is already, like, building up a reasonable amount of s s speed. I don't know. I'm not going to decide until we've actually proven it. Because I've tried to guess these sorts of things in the past before. Now, what I want to do this episode is... I know we're actually pretty far into it already. Uh, about 15 or 20 minutes, if my calculations are correct. Which they, you know what, almost certainly are not. But... um. I want to get this set up, and then I want to get up a Tesseract system set up so that we can have the power generating here and then take the power and put it elsewhere. So, what we're going to do is we're going to leave this a bit of time to stabilize.